Part six. At least I think we're on part six. Might be part seven. I might have to change the title here. Uh, so, yesterday, we decided to change up this bear. Is it dark in here? It kind of feels dark. Oh, what's wrong with this? It kind of feels dark in here. It's still a little dark in here, isn't it? Um, anyways, we changed up the bear a little bit. Now, we changed the, the change in direction is making me think about... Yeah, doing a lot more work. As I've been saying, I'm out of black. Uh, I was out of whatever that color brown was and all that stuff. So, today, I went and got some more paint. Okay. We briefly talked about... Um, the different kinds of paints I use and what is my favorite and whatever. I mostly only use acrylic. And so all of these are acrylic. Let me turn off my Wi-Fi so we don't have any. I only use, mostly only use acrylic for my paintings. Plus whatever you would consider the, uh, the spray paint stuff. Um, however, I don't necessarily have a favorite brand. Like I explained yesterday, I even use this. And this deco art craft paint okay i get this from the dollar store they also sell it at at the uh, art store but uh i get this from the dollar store because it's cheaper at the dollar store it's like a dollar something oh it doesn't say on it. it's like a dollar 25 or something like that at the art store they're like 250 so trying to make trying to make some uh uh, improvement on the old bank account. Anyway, I went to the art store today and I got a few different uh, colors and brands. So I've never, I have heard of this brand, but I'm not very familiar with it. But I got raw sienna in this Windsor and Newton. We'll see how it goes. Remember we ran out in our heavy-o, peppy, whatever, whatever this shit is. We ran out. Okay, yeah, remember how I kept talking about yellow ochre and stuff and whatever? I have some yellow ochre. I have a few different ones. But, um, the, uh, art lady? Art lady. She was younger than me. I don't know why I call her an art lady. But the girl who worked there told me about this. This is a Series 9. I don't know what that means. But apparently this is a really good paint. I got yellow because... As you know, the reason why I get the dollar store yellow is because I think it's the best yellow. Now, this is a yellow ochre, whatever, so it's got that uh, different uh, look to it. But we'll see how opaque it is. Uh, remember, I said I was out of black, so I got this Mars Black by another brand I've never heard of. Atelier. So, we got some of that, some black. Uh, we got some green, because we were doing stuff with green, and I was like, hmm, how should I do the grass, blah, blah, blah. I got this. Now, this was like 30 bucks, so this better be worth it. Uh, I've never heard of this brand either, but it looks like it's Japanese or something. Wait, that's probably not Japanese. What is that? What kind of writing is that? Does anyone know what that is? Maybe, maybe it, it, I feel like it looks too simple to be Japanese. Is that like Korean or something? Forgive me. I don't know my Asian characters very well. Uh, PG-17, Pigment-17, Series C. Made in Japan. Okay, it is Japanese. Okay, made in Japan. Shit, I should have I should have stuck with Japanese, and it would have looked like I knew what I was talking about. So that's some green. I got a classic, whatever, uh, student grade. The some of these are student grade, and some of these are professional grade. Honestly, with finger painting, it really doesn't make a difference, at least in my experience. But we got this uh, Terra Rosa color. I thought this might be good for some of our shadows and such. Um, 
And because someone mentioned emulsion paint, I decided to get some emulsion. Vinyl, vinylic, vinylic. Le Franc Bergois, Perry, Flash. Uh, I forget who said something about this. I can't remember even what they said about it. But the girl showed me this and I was like, oh, emulsion. Someone said that on my YouTube channel. I'll get some of that. Also, this one was kind of expensive too. So hopefully, hopefully it's good. We'll see. We'll see. Those five tubes cost a hundred and some dollars. hundred and like twenty dollars. So please be good. But even if they're not good, like I say, I use the dollar store stuff. At times, mostly just yellow and, and, the, and the, what we call the dollar green. So I'm not going to be picky. I'm probably not going to be like, what the heck? This stuff sucks. <laughs> It'll probably be all good. How is everybody doing today, by the way? Hello, Patricia, Martha, Creative, Renee. Oh yeah, your husband. His surgery is done. Follow Josh for more financial advice. <laughs> the little bear on the left looks good. Of course he does. Who do you think I am? Uh, hello Vans. First time live from Australia. Welcome. And we have the other Renee. Renee Coleman. Uh, who else is here? Martha. Oh, Martha was the first one up in this, up in this bitch. And then we got Glow. I saw there and Scott. Scott Cat. Uh, Jane. Hello. And Amy. Okay. So, shall we get back, back to it? I have 18 days left, and two of those days are setup days. So really, I have less than that. I have a doctor's appointment on Thursday for my eyeballs. The balls in my face. Uh, so that day is gone. God dang it. I don't like this. Someone come help me, please. <laughs> I still need to make a hot dog cart. And a few other things. I got to do at least two more paintings besides this one. This one and the one I have out there. But then I'll be done the paintings. And then I got to do a few sculptures. I gotta, I gotta go on Patreon after this and ask you guys who follow me on the Patreon if you mind if I substitute some stuff for the extra Christmas gifts this Christmas. Which is a long ways away, so I'll probably have lots of time. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I also wanted to say, for those of you who are looking forward to the April sale, I totally forgot. I totally forgot April was even here. I mean, I knew it was here, but like, I... I so there's no April sale just yet, but we'll figure out something to make it good. It's not gonna be prints, because we just don't have time for that. It'll have to be something else. I don't know what it is going to be, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't I have no idea what it's gonna be. Alright. Do you really want help before the show? Fuck yeah, I do. Sorry, I thought this was Patreon. Heck yeah, I do. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for those uh, who I just accidentally offended there with my use of foul language. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I saw your name and I was like, oh, we're here. And I was just talking about Patreon. My bad. My bad. Heck yeah, I do. Wait, unless you're saying that you're going to come here early and help me. Don't do that. You'll, I mean, you can if you want, but honestly, I don't know how you would be able to help because I don't, I'm a chicken with his head cut off right now. So I'm putting a little bit of dab of everything. This stuff, I don't know what emulsion is. Uh, I don't know what that means. Does anyone know what that means and why it would be like a separate type of paint? Does anyone know? That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone have any idea? Well, it farts. Oh, prairie dogging. Uh, it did fart. Oh, there we go. Anyway. 
I want, I'm excited to try. Wow, this paint looks like turds. It literally. Smell it to see if it smells like turds, which it doesn't. That looks, that looks like someone ate too much Taco Bell, okay? That's disgusting. That actually almost turns my stomach a little bit. Even though I know it's paint, but for some reason my mind's like, uh, don't put your hand in there. So, we'll see how I like, whoa, that is silky smooth. I wish I remembered which one of these were the more expensive ones and which ones were not. Green. We'll save this one because I want to do the, the grass in front with it, right? I'm going to use it as the as the applicator. Ah, there we go. Okay. I hate when... Okay, so part of the reason why I don't put the lids back on is because they're a pain in the butt to put back on. These ones, they just flip so they're easy, right? Unless I rip the lid off, which I often do. But if the lid doesn't go back on nicely, I just, I just toss it. And that's what I did with that one. Okay. And here we go. Our number one and more ex most expensive paint that I've ever bought in my life. This is more expensive than golden. Okay. You know, just for chats and giggles, I'm going to take this paint here. I don't know what brand this is. It just says acrylic. And that's it. Holy cow, that is like the same, almost, almost the exact same color. I don't know if you can tell. Actually, it looks more obviously different on camera than it does in person. They're so close. I mean, they, they should be close. Because they are the same color, like they're meant to be the same color. But of course, there's like some sort of, what do you call it? That? Hold on a second. Sorry about that. With paint, it's supposed to provide richer color with less paint. Patty G with the info. That's with the... Uh, the emulsion, right? Dictionary, a fine dispersion of minute droplets of one liquid in another in which it is not soluble. Okay. Now that's a potty mouth. <laughs> Patricia, and I'm eating. You have a lot going on, but you'll figure it out, hopefully. We use emulsion paint for house decorating. Is that right? Not dissolved in suspension. Hmm. With paint, uh, oh, I already read that. It's those deep thoughts that make him freeze up. <laughs> okay, hopefully we don't keep, I'm I'm on the Wi-Fi now. I don't know why. It's very cloudy outside, so maybe it's that, but it is warm today. Okay, anyways, we are using this as our reference. Hopefully the photographer is not like, hey man, you copied my picture. I mean, kind of, but like also I changed his, his leg position and stuff so it's the same but different also i'm not trying to i'm not trying to say this is it okay i'm taking some of the poop oh that so looks like shit guys okay this is the emulsion let's figure this out let's see if it i don't know i have no idea okay i'm curious oh Okay, this is exactly, goes on, I would not even be able to tell the difference. Also, it is very cold for some reason. All right. Oops. All right.
Okay, we got some of that. Let's get some of the. Oh, you know what color? Any burnt umber, but we still have a little bit left, so. Shoot. Here it is. Classic. Classic. Okay, so we're going to mix that. A little bit with the yellow, with the yellow. There we go, I like that color. Okay, let me get up in here. some of this. Okay. I kind of need to move this further down so I can see. But actually, you know what? I'll stand on this milk crate. The glare makes it kind of hard to see at this angle. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's better. Okay. This is a lot of, make sure we're not buffering. This is a lot of the same freaking thing as before, but, but also different somehow.
It seems as though a lot of the times when the cubs are lighter colored, when they're like more of that like honey brown, they have darker legs. And when they're darker, when they're like a dark chocolatey type brown, then they're they're all like kind of the same color with just like highlights throughout. So I don't know if that's always the case or that's just a theme I'm picking up on kind of subconsciously. Okay, now that collar that someone was talking about, I forget who that was, is right here in this area. And it goes around to the front. I don't know how obvious I can do that without it looking stupid, but we'll try. I'm going to try this, whatever the purpley brown was called. Hmm, I like it. I like this color. Let me have a look just to see if my new proportions are okay. Wow, it's so dark in here. Well, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something to brighten it up a little bit. Take these. got brighter when I took that away from the window a little bit and then also it's I'm trying to use it as a reflector the, like the white part the black obviously is not going to reflect very much I don't know does that make a difference at all of course me being in the frame does stuff Mama looks like she has a black eye. Uh, she has dark around her eyes, but I'm gonna I'm gonna change her a little bit. I think I'm gonna make her a little bit lighter. Hello, Santa Monica Jane, Janice. Hello, Anna. Hello. All right. If you guys don't mind, let me crack open a cold one. Pineapple drink. These are way easier to open up. Uh, this would have been easier to open up if it was a twist off. 
hurts the hands when you try to twist off a popper. Okay. I'm not sure I like this emulsion paint, honestly. Now that I've used it a little bit. Maybe if I use it more by itself, maybe, I don't know.
Give me one second, guys. It's gonna buffer. Someone's probably still gonna be like, huh, it's buffering? It's going to buffer. I'm leaving for just one second. Oh, of course. Ah, okay, we're back. Hello, Em Emir, Imir, Jim, Jimbo, and Patty G in the house, and Emir. Hi, Josh. Have you changed the flowers in the painting? Yesterday they were purplish. Now can't see the color. I did not change them. I think it's just, we're not very bright outside because we've got such cloudiness and my lighting in here is not the best. It's such a dark painting, but no, I didn't change any of the flowers. I'm just changing him. I'm liking how he's coming along with his like, his bright color, like his, it's not bright. More warm color? No, nah, I don't know what that term is. I like how he's lighter. How about that, lighter colors? Emer, Emer. Sounds like an animal. Emu. Emu. Emer. Sounds like someone's like a country's national bird or something. That's an interesting name. Uh, Barbara says, nice to see people from all over. Especially Emer. That's such a cool name. From Ireland. Uh... Lewis, Lewis, or as I like to call him, Louis. Hey, Lewis, are you coming to my show or no? On the way home today, I took my mom to her doctor's appointment. On the way home, we saw a moose chilling in the uh, forest near her house. Kind of cool.
right, let's do that. And I wish you guys could see it better. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So I made his front paw where he's reaching out. I made that one. First I made it fatter, then I made it skinnier, and then I made it a little bit longer again in the, to reaching to his, I guess you'd call it his elbow. Um, I don't know if that makes a difference to you guys, but it does for me. Uh, thank you, Renee. Thank you for being online today. I've been middleman between my landlord and a tenant and my cousin and our niece. I was about to pull my hair out. So relax, just watching you paint. Miss Peter Pan. Wait, that's an interesting mix of people involved in the dispute. Your cousin and your niece and your landlord and a tenant and yourself. Wait, you're the middleman. So you're like, hold on, let me ask my niece. <laughs> Like, what is the scenario where you're like, where you're like hey, 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 I'm going to take a, 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 a poorer tenant from my childhood who lived in the neighborhood that I lived in. It's kind of ghetto. I'm imagining that this might be ghetto uh, in my mind, but it's probably not ghetto at all. But in my mind, it is, okay? I actually don't know what the dude's name was. His name was Scott. Scott? Yeah, I think his name was Scott. He had a cat named Sylvester. So, I'm going to name this guy Scott. And your landlord's name is Will, because that's what his landlord's name was. Will. Will and Scott. So, you see Will and Scott. By the way, I'm just waiting for this to dry. That's why I'm telling this story randomly right now. Or I'm imagining this scenario right now. Wait, what was your name? Peter Pan. So, <laughs> he got Will uh, with his wavy hair. He's got that wavy hair going on. And you got Scott, who looks like a businessman, but like, or like someone who has to wear business clothes, but, but no one ever comes to the office except for the people who work there. So, it kind of doesn't make any sense that they have to wear business clothes because they're looking good for no one. So, which is what this guy did. He couldn't have had a very important job because he lived in a hotel room. So, the pay must have not been good. Of course, he was also a drug addict. I don't know if this guy, your guy is, but in my mind, he is. So, Scott doesn't pay his rent. Right? And so, Scott goes, hey, I ain't paying. Dude, I got rights. I got, I got tenant rights. You can't kick me out. And Will's like, I'm going to go get Peter Pan. See what she has to say about this. I can't deal with you anymore. I've asked you time and time again to pay your rent, Scott. And then Scott goes, I don't care, dude. I have rights. This is the United States of America, probably. Uh, where apparently renters are allowed to do whatever they want, according to many videos that Josh has seen on the interwebs. And then Will goes, God damn it, I can't. I can't, I can't anymore. And then here you come in your freaking green tights and you can fly. So you're just like, Whoosh. and you're like, now what seems to be the problem here, guys? Relax. <laughs> and then they explain the situation. He wants me to pay the goddamn rent. Yeah, it's my place. It's my house. Get out of my house if you're not going to pay rent. Do you see what I'm dealing with? And then you're like, God. Oh, hey, there's my cousin. Hey, Cheryl, come here. What do you think about this? He wants to not pay his rent. He wants him to pay the rent. What do you think? And your cousin Cheryl's like, well, I usually pay my rent. And then Scott goes, dude, I've paid the rent before. He has my first and last. What more does he need? And Will goes, dude, I need all the in-between as well. Are you saying this is your last month? No, it's not my last month. Dude, I got a job that looks important. Can you see how I'm dressed? And then you're like, what do you do? He's like, Scott's like, whatever Chandler does on Friends, I do that. That's why I'm wearing the vest. <laughs> and 
And then Will goes, how much does that pay? More than you'll ever make. Then why can't you pay me? And then you're like, hey, 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 Shirley, help me out here. Hold him back. We need to calm down. You know what? Let's get a child's perspective. Where's my niece? And then you go over. And you're like, Wendy! I'm stalling these names out of nowhere. And then Wendy comes. Like, what is the scenario? I hope it's something like that. Wendy comes downstairs. I don't know why she's upstairs. And she goes, yeah? What do you think? Should Scott pay his rent? And she's like, I don't have to pay rent. And then Scott goes, see? That's probably where you're at. Then I came on live and you're like, you know what? I'm leaving. Probably something like that happened. Tried sharing the live, says Renee. Oh yeah, I read that. Thank you. Uh, okay, dairy free is too much bother. Just make mine a gin and tonic. This painting is looking awesome, says Deborah. Well, thank you. Uh, oh wait, someone's someone's going to McDonald's for McFlurry. Hi friends, come in. I've been driving around on a mission to find an M&M &M McFlurry. Oh, we don't have those here. We have Smarty McFlurries, which are like, kind of like M&M's. Our Smarties are. Which, in the last vlog, I said, hey, these rockets are, uh, to my American audience, are Smarties. And then someone said, in the comments, your rockets are our Smarties. Yeah, that's what I just said. I don't get how people can watch it, but not get what I'm... Anyway. Liking the cub so much, it's adorable. You like it? Good. Thank you. Lewis didn't say if he's coming... Oh, he said, I really wish I could go. Can't get it off work, eh? Are you paying Scott's rent? Are you paying... Don't, don't do it, Lewis. Uh, stay up late, Emer. You can always sleep at work as long as you're not a bus driver. Yeah, if you do what Scott does for a living, you'll be fine. As long as you're not a bus driver. Dude, that's funny. Uh, it looks perfect now. It looks stretched out before. Really? Alright. I'm liking the different perspectives. Like, you guys conflict a lot with each other. Like, not like you're trying to or anything. So I'm like... Asking your opinion. Some people say this. Some people say the exact opposite. It was two different fights. Ah, dang. Wow. It would have been better if it was one fight. Cat named Sylvester. Suffering su succotash. Wait, is that what he says? Suffering succotash. What is succotash? What does that mean? What is suffering succotash? And why does he spit when he talks so much? Also, cats do... Maybe it's off of that cats doing that thing they do. I don't get why they do that, but Penny does that all the time. Archie, I don't think I've seen him do that. I probably have, but I don't notice it because he doesn't do it as much, I think. Uh, yeah, his name was Sylvester. And I remember this dude had the this large girlfriend. And uh, by the way, Chicago and I told this story on an earlier... Just Joshing with Dakota. You should subscribe to the Just Joshing with Dakota channel. And one time she took off her shirt and we were like, hmm, I want to like this, but I can't. Because we were little kids. I didn't know what, like, you know, I was just like, but I was like, it's not very attractive though. But it looks different. Oh, man. <laughs> You're making my year. <laughs> Go play this for them and tell them to calm down. <laughs> and here we have Josh's natural habitat. Well. Oh, I should have said Tinkerbell. I should have been the niece. When did Sylvester make an appearance? Yeah, that shit. I should have brought him in. That would have been funny.
That's not out of nowhere. Wendy, yeah, I know Wendy's from Peter Pan, but I didn't say that because of Peter Pan. I just said that because I was trying to think of names on the fly. It probably was subconsciously like on the ready because of Peter Pan. Got a whole bag of Smarties for my birthday. Awesome. Are they Reese's Smarties? Daryl Scott says, I wrote the comment premature. Oh, that was you, Daryl. Dude, that's funny. Usually people are just going, huh, huh, I wonder who that was. It wasn't me. <laughs> that reminds me of a, another story, which has nothing to do with you or anyone here or the argument from before. But I worked in this one building. Okay, also had to dress up. But Succotash is... Is sort of is a sort of hash, like hash, like to smoke or like to eat. What kind of hash? Uh, a dish of lima beans and corn. Oh, okay, to eat. Gross. Lima beans and corn. Smarties come in tubes in the UK. They come in tubes here as well. Oh no, that's M and M's. Sorry. Lies. Hello, Char, making a quilt. Uh, finally finished the bird feeder. Nice. Okay. Okay. Speaking about someone doing the... Oh, that wasn't me. Huh? Usually people don't say anything out loud when you're confronting a unknown person. Okay, you're just, you're just not meant, you're just meant to just take the information and apply it where necessary, however it affects your relationship within wherever the, uh, the conditions are, are applied, right? So, <laughs> I worked at this one building. Remember the vlog where I was with Landon and we were going through, I did the chiropractor or whatever thing. Remember that vlog? I can't remember what vlog it was. But then I showed, I said, hey, I stood on that balcony on stilts like an idiot. Okay, that building. Okay, we were doing apartments in there. Taping. Okay, me and Steve. We were taping. There was another Steve. Also a taper. Also, always on some cocaine. And uh, and then there was another taper as well. I forget what his name was, but he drove a Dodge Magnum. Anyway. <laughs> we had a mandatory meeting, okay? So all the trades were separate, okay? Uh... So when, when there's mandatory meetings of the whole ass building, you knew something was either wrong or something was changed or uh, outside trade, like a, so, like a different trade that's not working every day is coming in or something, right? Or someone's in trouble. Okay, so mandatory meeting in the lobby of this apartment building. Okay, fine, whatever. We go down there. It's me, Steve. Steve. The other taper, we're hanging out because we know each other. And the boarders, the drywallers, who sucked. Holy cow, did they ever suck. They were with us, too. And the electricians and plumbers. And there was still some framing going on uh, on some of the floors as well. So there was also framers. And who knows who else, okay? It's just crowded. It's crowded. And there's probably like 200 people in here, okay? Nah, probably not 200. Maybe like 150 people, okay? So we're wondering, like, oh, maybe they found the thief. I can't remember exactly what my thought was, but there was a there was someone stole all the electrician's uh, tools and raw materials because copper, right? And this is kind of in a not exactly a rough part of town, but it's it's not rough. It's just there's a lot of there's like a lot of homeless and such, lots of. Lots of people with the fentanyl lean going on. Although at the time, fentanyl wouldn't have been a problem. But anyway.
huh, I just had an epiphany. If fentanyl wasn't the, the thing at the time, that just must be a drug addict thing to just do this. But lots of people are on fentanyl now, and they do that. Anyway, doesn't matter. Unrelated. Uh, so, uh, the, the meeting is, hey guys, <laughs> the concrete dudes are coming in. They're going to level all the floors so we don't work for a whole week. Also, if you, <laughs> whoever is throwing pee bottles on the adjacent roof, you need to stop. Everyone's quiet. And then the second Steve goes, huh, yeah, no, I don't do that. That's gross. And everyone is looking at him like, well, it's definitely you. Everyone now knows it's you. <laughs> Anyways, Daryl, you reminded me of that. Even though, did he say pee bottles? He did, I think. Because there, you could see them, like when you were on the higher floors. The lobby of this apartment building was on the second, second floor, I think. Or it was like, not a lobby, it was like a conference, like a common area. That's where, it, maybe it was on the third floor, I can't remember. Anyways, we could see the roof. We could see it over there. We were on like the fifth floor or something. I, this wasn't a very tall building. I can't remember how many. Maybe we were on the second floor. I can't remember. I don't remember how many floors there were. There's like four or five floors, maybe six. But I don't remember exactly. Anyway, it doesn't matter. There was a common area on either the second or the third floor or something. That's where we all were. And like, they must have been like, hey, let's have a meeting. Hey, what the heck is up with all the Gatorade bottles over there? Full of piss. No one drinks yellow Gatorade. That's the worst flavor. That is piss. So they just, just like after the meeting, he's like, he's like, he does, you know the thing where they go like this? Where they have their clipboard in their hand and they go like this and they check their watch. And uh, whoever's throwing their pee bottles on the adjacent roof, it needs to stop. Steve over here. Pardon me, what? Gross. I would never do that. That definitely wasn't me. Freaking. Just like, hey, let me tell on myself. Freaking, it is gross. He was right. Also, we were told that we always have to wear our hard hats, which was so annoying. I hated wearing hard hats and the high-vis vest. They're all big and stuff. And steel-toed boots. I never would. I mean, I would sometimes. But, yeah, very annoying. Okay, I'm gonna leave this bear as he is for now. I'm liking him. He looks kind of like he's wet, which our original picture is wet. I do like the idea of the of the title of this painting being Drizzly Bears. Whoever thought of that, great title. Great title. So he looks a bit wet. Good. I'll have to make him the the one who's climbing over there look a bit wet. And her. I'm gonna I'm gonna lighten her up a little bit. Um, that Fetty Lean is a sad sight, <laughs> too. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? <laughs> the Fetty Lean. <laughs> dude, it makes it sound like it's like it's like yo, dude, he's got that Fetty Lean, bruh. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, it is sad, but... <laughs> I saw a guy today. He was like, I think he just had something wrong with him, which is, sucks. He was like this, and he was walking, but he had his hands on his knees, which usually when someone's got that fetty lean, as Brene would call it, usually they're just, they look like they're almost falling over, but like somehow they got like a gyroscope in their ankles or something, and it's just keeping them up. They're just like, uh, and if you ever talk to them, they do this. This is not it. I'm not trying to be funny, but... If, you, if they're like this, and you say, hey dude, or excuse me man, like usually I'm scooting with Dakota, and run into them all the time. So if we're like, heads up, they usually go like this. And then they go over the other way. And you're just like, ah, oh, dude, that guy's gone. Yeah, don't do fentanyl, or, or any hard drug. If you're gonna do drugs, do something not dangerous. How about that? So instead of the roof, they stashed him in the Dodge Landon bot. Yeah, dude. Oh, frick. That was gross. Glenn thought of Drizzly Bear. Ah, oh, yes, it was Glenn. Have you ever painted raindrops in your paintings? I have not, I don't think. In the pharmaceutical sector, safety is paramount. Steel toe shoes, non-slip flooring, safety glasses. Sometimes it seems OTT, over the top. Is that what that means? Like a gin and tonic. Is that is that what that is? A GNT, Jim? If you add a mist, light spray it, it would look like you've been playing in the wet grass. A mist of what? Paint? Water? A mist? Got that fentanyl lean to paint his foot. Come up. Oh, I think Ashley's gone. You know what? I like him dark. I'm going to keep him dark. I like him dark like that. Don't tell me to paint him lighter. And I've seen plenty of pictures where just one of the cubs is lighter and the other one is darker. The mama, you think I'm crazy, don't you, mama? Where did I put that? There it is. Looking for my reference photo. So I'm using this as my main reference for the shape. But I think what I'm going to do, because that one's so dark, this bear's so dark, I'm going to look up some, I think I already have some that I like. And I'll go with this for color reference. Something like that. I wish I had a funny story, Lewis, but I was just walking along and then I was down. I hit my mouth and that was the injury I was focused on, but realized my arm was worse. The mouse is fine. What? Wait, what happened, Parched? Did you remember to get some rubbing alcohol? No, I forgot. I didn't even cross my mind. What is a safe drug? Well, a safe drug would be like something that grows out of the ground. 
not something you make with uh, ingredients that you find under your sink. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. I don't know how they make fentanyl. Probably not from ingredients that you find under your sink. That's more of like a, like a meth thing. Uh, meth seems great when you're on it, but everyone else can see that it's, it's not great. Um, yeah. That last reference photo is great. Another wet bear. Yeah, I think so. Broke his arm. Wait, parched? You broke your arm. Where was this? Where? What happened? Did you trip over someone with the fentanyl lean? Are you very tall and you didn't see them? And you just went... How is it related to what we were talking about? Hold on, I want to see your story here. I'm I'm scrolling for it. Ah, oh, it's too far. Gosh, that would be a whole bag of rockets if I was in Canada, but I'm in... Oh, you got a whole bag of rockets. That sucks. I mean, unless you like them. Hold on, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I see, I see some referencing here. Emir thinks that he looks too bright for the amount of sunlight on the other two, but he's not bright because of the sunlight. He's bright because he's just light colored, like a blonde versus a brunette. That's all. Parks, where the heck are you with your story? Okay, please tell it again so I can just read it. I, you broke your arm, but what did you do? You fell? over someone with the fentanyl lean. Yeah, Lewis is asking if you tripped on something. That sucks that you broke your arm. Hello, John. Glad to see you. Dang, that sucks that you broke your arm, dude. I hope that, uh, when I break my arm, I have a cool story. When I break my arm. How about if I break my arm? I don't I don't want there to be a when. I'd rather it be an if. Like, yeah, I don't know what is a cool story for that, but like maybe if I was like, oh yeah, I was teaching Tony Hawk how to do a whatever trick on a skateboard that I made up and invented and it's going to be like one of the top new trending tricks to do. And then a bald eagle clawed, tried to claw out my eyes and I slipped. I want it to be a little, you know, fantastical. I one time broke my scapula. Hold on. No. This one. I broke this scapula, which is your shoulder blade. For those of you who don't know, usually when I say scapula, people are like, don't you mean clavicle? Frick, I would have hated that. No, it was my scapula. I was riding on my bike that got stolen, what the heck, with my unicycle. I was going down a hill, riding the bumps and, and not jumps, there was no jumps. Well, there was plenty of jumps, but I skipped them. Uh, I was trying to catch up to my brother-in-law. I had never been down this trail before, and he was ripping, because he'd been down it several times. And as he's ripping down, he's getting further away from me, because I don't know the trail. So I'm kind of, I'm going fast, but I'm like, not going, I'm only going like, you know, two-thirds as fast as him, right? As I'm trying to catch up, there's this bank, and then there's a little jump, probably about this high. I hit that jump, 
but like I had to slow down, so I hit it weird. I hit it. I didn't ride it. I, I like hit it, and then my back tire like. Anyways, I endoed, and I went. The bank was like a, if you can imagine, like, like a Hot Wheels. You could ride it, and you'd be kind of sideways when you go around it. However, when you're going too fast for your position on the bike, or too slow, you can't really ride it well, you'll wipe out. I hit this stupid jump. Again, like this tall. Small jump. Small jump. It might have been a little bit bigger than that, but I don't remember it being very tall. I hit it, and immediately I'm like, this is... Nope. I'm gonna wipe out. And uh, this bank... If you can imagine this wall is the bank, okay? It's not exactly... It's not even close to 90 degrees. It's more like... It's more like... I don't know. 60 degrees, I would say. Okay? And there's this tree growing out of it. I don't hit the bank into the approach. I hit it straight on. Right, right in the middle of it. And I go over the handlebars like a flip or a somersault more so. And my shoulder says hello to this tree. And then it just goes... <laughs> and then my shoulder... Was like I can't really put it there on purpose, but it was like way over here, and I was like, "No!" And then Joel, my brother-in-law, he's way ahead of me. I'm like, "Joel!" He's like, "What?" I'm like, "I think I broke my shoulder," and he's like, "No, you didn't." I'm like, "I think I did." He like comes up the hill, like. Two minutes later or something, you, you can't ride up the hill, it's too steep. He like walks his bike up the hill and he's like, oh, you did. <laughs> it sounded like, hold on, let's see if I can recreate the sound. Okay, this is what it sounded like. If you can imagine, oh, let me catch up to you. Oh, shit. <sighs> it kind of sounds like that. And then, uh, then this other guy, this French dude came down the hill behind us, like behind me. And he was like, he was pro. We were not. Joel was better than me because he, had, he went every day, but I was not. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Good. Telling the story of when I broke my shoulder. Oh, yes. <laughs> and then you showed up like this. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> no, I didn't think I was fine. I just didn't want everyone to be like, oh. Right. I knew it was something was wrong. It freaking hurt like a bastard. Anyway, this French guy, he comes down and he's like gliding. Dude, he was like, just, he, it's like he was born to ride. That's the song. He comes down and we're like, heads, heads, heads. And he's like, sees us. So he breaks, takes him like a hundred feet to stop. And he's like, oh no, my friend, are you okay? And my shoulders over here. And he's like, he's like, he's like, he takes off my helmet. He's like, and he's like, he's like touching me and shit. And he's just like, he's like, do you smell things? Or what did he say? He's like, my friend, are you okay? Can you smell things? Yeah, I think he was asking if I could smell burnt toast, I think is what he was trying to say. But he didn't speak English that good. And then he was like, he's like, he's like, Oh, gosh, I can't really remember everything he said. That sucks that I kind of forget this. But anyways, we go up the hill. And of course, we parked like miles away. <laughs> and so this dude, he's like, he's like, let me tell you, brother, one time I came down over here and I was coming down and there was a jump. And I said, you know what? I am a bird. And I flew over it. I am like a bird. That's the thing that Joel remembers the most. It's him <laughs> saying, like, I fly like a bird. <laughs> I wish I could do the French accent better. But yeah, he sounded like George St. Pierre. He's like, I am the champion. Anyway, he, uh, he then went and got his tether ball. Tied it around his ankle. And he's like, he's like, he's like, 
I don't expect you to be too impressed. I am just trying to distract you. <laughs> and he's just doing all these tricks with this like <laughs> soccer ball tied to his leg. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, you see that van over there? I travel all around in that van. With his bike. Oh. He must live in his van. And he found this trail probably on the pink bike or something. Yeah. And then he's just like, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Or not, not, yeah, let's do it. But he's like, Tap bien, let's do it. Okay. And then you drywalled with broken boulder. No, I didn't drywall. I framed. Framed. So we go to the hospital. My shoulder's over here. Okay. The freaking, the freaking dick. He goes, for some reason he didn't believe me. He probably thought I was drug seeking. <laughs> That's probably it, but I never took it. Right. Or oh, I did take it. But it was just a T3, not something, I mean, T3s can be dangerous, I guess, I suppose, if you're yeah. inclined to that sort of thing. But anyway, he, uh, yeah, he did give me a T3. That's how I know I can't do T3s. They're terrible. Anyways, yeah, he goes, he goes, so my arms, <laughs> and he goes, he's like, he's like, wait, lift it as high as you can. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, uh, and I'm like, straight, like, I can move it. But I can't move it. Like, I can do this and stuff, but I can't do this. And so I'm like, I'm okay about there. And he's like, okay, I'm going to take control. He grabs my arm and he goes, <laughs> and I was like, Whoa! and he's like, hmm, okay, I'm going to send you for an x-ray. And I'm like, oh, sorry, bro. He's just like, <laughs> dude, man up. We go to the, we go to the x-ray. I meet uh, this guy, his name was Garner. How do I remember his name was Garner? Because his name was Garner. There's only two people named Garner in the whole world. That guy and the dude on the radio that we listened to. On the morning show, Sonic 1029. The Garner Andrews Show. I actually have a sticker of his face over there. I'm not gonna get it though. We're, we're, getting, we're getting into the weeds here with his stupid storytelling. Anyway. He uh takes the he takes the X-ray machine. No, it takes me to the machine. He doesn't take the machine to me. That would have been nice. Puts me in there and he gets me to lift it up as high as I can. So I I do it. All right, one here, one here, right front, back, top. There's all these pictures, whatever. I wait for like how long do you think? Like half an hour, something like that. Half an hour. Doctor comes back and he's like, well. It kind of looks like, <sighs> nah, it wasn't that style, it was on the computer. I wish it was one of those <sighs> holding it up to the light. <laughs> I should have just said it was. <laughs> yeah, so he was like this, he took my x-ray. Actually, it was printed off, wasn't it? I don't know. But he didn't do this. It was probably on the paper, because he was looking at it, because it was in the ER, there was no computer in there. Oh, like a tablet or anything? Maybe it was on a tablet. I can't remember. Anyways, he's looking at it. He's like, yeah, here I can see that there's probably a break, but that might just be an artifact. It might be nothing. Uh, it's just a small crack. I'm like, small crack? Yeah, that's nothing. In your scapula? That's a big-ass bone. All right, small crack. He's like, yeah, I can put you on light duty, or I can get write you a note for light duty. I'm like, perfect. I'm self-employed. I will give it to the boss. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, nothing's wrong. I'm like, no, there's not going to be damage if I use it. He's like, no, nah, you'll be fine. Oh, since he saw the crack, actually, we went for another round of x-rays the same day. And then I remember I had to hang on to like one of those. Oh, I'm sick. These are my bags of fluids. One of those things, which I have one in the art trunk. I should get it for props. It's better storytelling. Anyway. He, he needs me to hold on to it. If I can hold on to it, because I have grip strength still in my hand, I can hold on to that, and it'll be, rather than these muscles and bones being all sore, it'll just be in my hand. So I, like, inch myself up this pole, right? Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. And I'm like, okay, I think this is about as far as I can go. Takes the same pictures. He looks at them, and then he tells me, ah! Crack's still there, but it's probably nothing. Get out of here, loser. I'm not giving you any drugs, which you didn't even ask for. 
I go home, wake up in the morning, go to work, frame somebody's basement. Should have taken me like five. The key there was they didn't have a. They didn't have a radiologist. Radiologist? Yeah. Yeah, they didn't have a radiologist. So he was just interpreting. Yeah, he was just interpreting. He's like, I'm a doctor, uh, you know, whatever. So I, whatever, the dude will call you is what he said. If, if it's anything. Fair enough. Whatever. I go to work. What should take like four or five hours took like at least eight hours. I was so slow just doing everything with one hand. And my brother, my brother Will was working with me. And I kept going. <laughs> He's like, dude, stop it. <laughs> Knock it off. And I'm like, dude, screw you, man. Anyways, we get it done. Not my best work. Not my best work. Honestly, I'm surprised he was like, cool, this is fine. No, I'm not surprised because it's, it, I would say it's on par with someone else's work, which would pass. Not my best work. Anyway, we get it done. We leave. As we're packing up, I get a phone call. I'm like, hello? And they're like, hey, this is doctor, not doctor, what do you call him? This is radiologist. Yeah. Simmons, actually I am a doctor apparently, says Ashley, uh, you have a broken shoulder, if you would like uh, to come in at your convenience, preferably sooner rather than later, we will fit you for a sling. I don't know, I was like, what? Dude, he told me it was fine. He told me I could go to work. I didn't yell at him. Also, I didn't say that, but I was thinking that. I was like, this dickhead. So then... I drove Will home, and then I drove me to the hospital, and I thought they were going to do something, but he just said, like, okay, how can you move it? Okay, put on the thing, and then he showed me how to put it on properly, and it was just like this thing with like a foam thing, and then I just had to wear that for like a month or something. Yeah, about that, and then I had to see them again. Then I had to see them, and it was not healed. And it still hurt a lot, so they told me to do it for another couple of weeks. But it's fine now. Can't even tell. Although that's probably part of why my I lost an inch of height. All that pain, just being like, oh, let me scrunch up. And then that nurse was like, oh, let me make you even shorter <laughs> with that thing. Why didn't she like me? <laughs> what do you think? He looks much better. That's you like good. him? How about him? I didn't good. do any changes, but I like him dark. Yeah, it's good. Should I keep him dark or should I make him lighter? I made him a little bit lighter. It's good. Okay, good. Like I'm gonna make Mama a little bit lighter. Mama! No, oh, he looks great. Um, I came in here to find out if you fed the dog. What time is it? Almost six. It's almost 6? 5.46. No, I did not. It doesn't even look like 6. Yeah. Stays late. Hmm. I did not read them. Okay. I'll do that. Jim says, well, since potatoes grow in the ground and vodka is made from potatoes, it's a natural drug. I would say, I would say it's probably one of the more dangerous ones, though, because that is, that is an introductory drug. That is a gateway drug, alcohol is. People say weed is, and I imagine it. it is. At least for one of my friends, it was. He admits it. Also a drywaller guy. Good dude. I should probably not be on here and conserve my battery, but I've missed the last few lives. Sarah, good to see you. We we're supposed to have bad weather starting any time. How's everyone else's weather? The weather here is great, minus no sun. I've never broke any bone. Don't do it. It's not great. I've only broke my nose and my scapula. I haven't broken anything else. I don't think. I broke my nose three times, as you might be able to tell. It's like way over there. Do you see where it should be? It should be. Hold on. There we go, it should be like that. 
or wait, maybe like that. <laughs> First time I broke it, stupid. Broke it with my car door. <laughs> Just slammed, if you can imagine, okay, if you can imagine this Loch Ness monster painting is the car door, right? This is the window, right? I reached into the bottom of my car door to pull out my Petro Canada points card, which by the way, never used the points ever. So I was collecting points for no reason. I said, hold up, let me go get my Petro points card so I can collect these points so that I can get free stuff at some point. Run out, I'm, there's a lineup behind me in the gas station. Petro Canada is a gas station. That's probably obvious by the name Petro. Anyways, I go out there, I open the door of my car. It wasn't a truck, it was a car. Okay? So the door was probably like this high. Maybe this high. I reach in to the, eh, actually it's probably, I don't know how high cars are anymore. I haven't had it, it was a Grand Prix though. Anyways, I reach in, grab the card, and as I grab the card, I slam the door and turn and the door hits my nose up here and holy cow that hurt a lot. I just went oh and then I ran in and she let the person behind me go ahead. I broke my nose to make sure that I would be not a burden on the on the line and she still let the guy go ahead of me but anyways she didn't even know that my nose broke because it didn't bleed which was so weird it was definitely sideways though <laughs> she up she like she's like oh that was quick i'm like yeah i just broke my nose or whatever i said and she's like huh oh it was just like <laughs> not great Another time I broke my nose, I broke it back that way. And so it was relatively straight. I was giving Duke, remember Duke, the dog, uh, Joel's dog. I was giving him, trying to give him a bath. I picked him up. He doesn't like water. He's scared of water, was scared of water. He wasn't scared after we kind of like showed him that we're never going to hurt him and stuff, but his, not his previous owner, but his Previous previous owner did, did not did not care for him very well. Anyway, he was scared of water, so I had to uh, coax him. And then when he realized it was water, he was like, "No thanks." It was in the bathtub, so I just picked him up. I bear hugged him, which obviously he didn't like. And he was a bigger dog, not big big, uh, about the size of Henry. I pick him up, and he just goes, and his nose or his head or something, wax my nose whoosh, that way. And Ashley is helping me bathe them because he went into a swamp or something. I can't remember what he went in, but he was filthy. So we wanted to bathe them. It might've even been winter actually. So it might've been a mud puddle. So we couldn't hose him outside because it would have been too cold. Anyway, breaks my nose and I'm like, oh shoot. I'm like, he just broke my nose. And I was like, what? Then the, that time my nose did bleed. And so we're trying to bathe this dog while I'm bleeding into the tub. And then the other time I broke my nose, I can't remember, but I broke it back that way. And I can't remember what it was. But once you break your nose once, like it's so easy to break again.
feel like we're getting a lot less done on this session, but like I'm having a lot more fun for some reason. I like these uh, these stories that we're telling. Poor Duke, so glad he had a good owner. Oh yeah, definitely. It's too bad he wasn't with us. Would have been even better. Not that who he was with, my brother-in-law, they didn't neglect him or anything. It's just, uh, we would have had more time, better, like, uh, because they, they work, and I work from home and stuff, so it would have just been, he would have had a little more company, but, oh well. Hello, Tammy from Newfoundland. Mama Bear looks much better with the lighter highlights. Well, thank you. I can't really see it because your comments are in the way, but the grass in the foreground needs to be loaded. Just tickling the branch. Give it more perspective. Uh, no. Not going to do that, but uh, I do know what you're saying. Mama Bear got her hair did. <laughs> she got her hair did. Mm-hmm. I would give more perspective. It would give like, I don't know what you mean, actually. The whole idea from the beginning, I explained that I wanted to have the tall grass. And so that's in my mind as the finished product. But you're saying it'll give more perspective if it's short, if it's just up to here. I am not computing that. Please explain. Please advise. Hey, is anyone here watching Silo on Apple TV? We just finished season one yesterday. Season two is going to come out in 2025. What the heck is up with all these? Hey, let's come out two years after we do the first uh, season. Let me grab this. So this muzzle is like very, very white colored. I'm not going to do white, but I will do a mixture to get it nice and white but I also have a couple other reference photos and we can look up grizzly bears all day long fortunately the internet is working fine today have we been buffering at all I don't think so my husband just fell off his truck straight straight truck flatbed dislocated his pelvis and fractured it in several places with a Hawaiian flower I don't know what the flower is for, but wow, that is, that sucks. What? Wow. No buffering. Thank you, Jim. Wow. Dude, can you imagine? You're just like, oh, let me just hop up here like I do every day. Let me rearrange the whatever I'm putting up here. All right. Oh, shit. <sighs> I've fallen and I can't get up. How did you find it? Like how like how did he get help? Who was that who said that? Beth? Yeah, Beth. How did he like how what happened? Uh some of the series had difficulty shooting around the pandemic. Some of the series that I followed had to change to new companies to continue the series. Oh, is that right? I'm no artist, no problem. Just you do what you do. Love it. No, I actually want to know what you mean. How it'll add perspective. Because I might, I might agree with you and I might do it. I don't have Apple TV, but I would love to watch that. I love the book series. Hmm. My internet is too slow for Apple TV. 
Well, we're just using the the free trial because I'm not interested in paying for that. Plus, there's not very many shows on there. Okay, I'm mixing up a color for the muzzle. Oh yeah, I like that color. We got a little bit of white. Oh yeah, the perfect color, I think. Yeah, we're gonna go with this for the muzzle, I think. For the snoozle. I might not even do the whole thing. I might just do the bridge of the nose. Just a little bit of luminol. I need to get around this other bear so I can see what it is supposed to look like. I always like a grandfather with a little goatee. Some more. Okay, let me do, I'm going to use the black now for the first time, but I only need just a tiny bit of it. Gonna make the nose a little bit bigger.
The nose is better, but the cheek sucks. Hold on, let me move on the other side. I hope that shows up. Gotta go to another live. All right, see you later, Beth. I just said some prayers to keep us safe. Where my in-laws live, they have a tornado warning really close to them. Dang, you guys got tornadoes all over, hey? No weight bearing on left side, six to eight weeks. Hold on, let's see here. I believe that grizzly bears got the common name from the frosted tips of their hair. Is that right? Got it on camera. He was delivering granite slabs, checking straps, slipped, fell. Oh, like was it raining or something or do you still have snow? At the age of 68, I was, this is Char says this, I was coming down off an eight foot ladder and fell and broke my tibia and the plateau ended up taking three surgeries in two years to heal. The plateau. Wow. Two years for a leg to, wait, tibia. Fibia, tibia. Labia? No, that's something different. Ulna? Yeah, tibia, that's your leg. Mama bear looks like she has a center part in her. Yeah, it's very common in grizzly bears to have a center part. Does it look stupid though? I don't know. I don't know. Luckily, I've never broken a leg or an arm. I would not like to break those. I feel like that's worse than breaking it. Definitely worse than breaking a nose. Nose is like no sweat. As long as you're not super vain about your looks, because I obviously look stupid with my crooked nose. Most people don't, they tell me they don't notice it, but it's like extremely noticeable. So I feel like you're lying. Well, that's okay. I just wanted to show the part. Sorry, my screen has got paint on it. There we go. Part. Whoa, shoot. Part. This one you can't see, but. Oh, part. Actually, I kind of like, I kind of like the color of this one. I do. Yeah. Ribs. Oh, broken ribs. My brother Dave and my brother Mike, I think, were fighting each other. Like, fist fighting. And my brother Mike pushed my brother Dave into a dishwasher in our house. And it broke two of his ribs, I think. The fight was over, and they felt bad. I thought they were playing because they were laughing. Like the person running away was laughing. My mom was pissed. So I didn't understand. I was entertained though because I was a little kid. I was like seven. And they were like 25. I don't know how old they were. So yeah. Bear skulls have a ridge in them, which makes it appear to be a part. Ah, oh, is that right? I don't know why your your comment was deleted. That was probably an accident. Shh, nobody tell Josh how stupid he looks. The center part looks a little wide. Oh yeah, but once we you know continue on, get a little more refining, it'll come it'll come together a little bit. It'll just be like, just wait, just wait. You'll see, you'll see. Uh, okay. Why did I come over here for? Oh, yeah, I wanted to see what happened. Three broken ribs in the car accident. Everybody wanted to bear hug me. <laughs> uh, how do I 
inside messages. I don't know what that means. I shattered my upper left arm. Ended up three years and one major surgery after the bone started dying. Back to replace it with a titanium rod with ball on end for shoulder. Holy crap, Patricia. What? Ah, oh, gross and terrible. Did I ever see the picture of the bear in your yard? I did not. I forgot to look. Hopefully I'll remember to look. Oh, come on. I love your mom, Josh. Why? You don't even know her. <laughs> okay. I'm going with this golden color rather than that other one. It doesn't look as wet or anything, but I, I, I like it. I like it. Let me grab some more of that. This might be some good paint. I hope I don't love it because it is too expensive to buy all the time. Maybe if I didn't slather out way more than I need each time, that would probably be helpful as well. <laughs> okay. Go with the golden. Let me try a little more of this emulsion stuff. Where did I put that? Oh, you know what I used today? Remember yesterday, someone said that the dollar store has good silver? Well, I found some gold that I was saying that I like. I'll show you what I did. Let me go grab, actually, let's go for a little walk. Let's take a little break from this, even though this whole time it has been really a break. Let's get rid of that. Let's turn you around like this. Okay. Currently sitting with a broken rib, coughing or sneezing. It's a major issue. Dang. Uh, little bear on limb looks like a cow and possum. <laughs> Is that what you think? Okay, so I used some of that gold right here. I have it out here because the air is blowing on it. Yeah, so I like that gold. So once that... Oh, it's almost dry. I It's like got a skin on it. It'll dry soon. It's a little crown for LeBron. LeBron has been on several teams. He is both loved and hated, so what I did is I made uh, him up in his Olympic jersey from 2012, which is a throwback. This is insider This is insider information, guys. I don't know if anyone will care about this. Hold on a second. Sorry, I hate when that happens. Oh, that's probably what's happening. You guys can probably see it fine. Hold on. My brightness was turned down because I accidentally turned on my auto thing. That's so annoying. I was like, why is it so dark? But it probably wasn't that dark. Although it probably wasn't super light like it was before because it's cloudy, but anyway. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the, the Olympics uh, uh, jersey here. So, LeBron, he is number six, and he's also number 23 
And Michael Jordan is also number 23. A lot of people don't like how LeBron often flops, which is to say that he pretends to be injured a lot. And that is very annoying. I would never do that. It's so stupid. It's not soccer. Don't do that. Anyway, uh, he does it quite a bit. Um, at least I've seen uh, within my research, if you will, I've seen lots of video of him doing it. Their montages. I'm sure you could get that of of many athletes who I who I actually do like. I'm sure too. I don't know in in a sport that I actually enjoy. I don't really care for basketball. Anyway, doesn't matter. So a lot of people have this contention for some reason of him wearing the number 23 because that's Michael Jordan's number and Michael Jordan is the great one. Uh, but people argue that LeBron is also the greatest of all time. He's he's like the best ever, and maybe he I don't know I don't I don't I have no idea. Same with Kobe. But anyways, I figured. I'll paint him in his number six rather than 23 so that I don't have that argument. I chose this jersey here because a number six upside down is a number nine. And Michael Jordan in 1992 wore the same jersey during the Olympics and he was number nine. And so there's like a parallel there why I chose this specific jersey with the number six, which he did wear number six in the Olympics here, LeBron did in 2012. And it, it was a throwback jersey to the 1992 Olympics. This was just an exhibition game. Uh, I, I didn't watch a whole lot. I was just doing some, some quicker research to see if I could find a nice uh, happy medium so that people, when they ask me about it, I can tell them that story. Uh, if they care to listen to it at all. But there we go. Not done yet, but getting there. Also, what's up with the Olympic basketballs? They look so dumb. But anyway, the black, white, and red is because the logo was black, white, and red. So that's why, that's why I have that. I, I got to think of what I can do to take up some of the space here. We'll see. We'll see. And then the other thing I've been working on, of course, as I showed you, last night I got to this point with this bad boy. I'm sure it's a lot easier to guess what it is now. Remember that saw blade? Uh, the saw blade that I found over there? That's this one right here. I cut it a little bit. Right, it's right there. Oh. Yeah, so... Hopefully I'll be able to finish this up in the next couple days because I only have like 16 days left. I got a lot to do on here. This fell off of my little rig here and this bent, but my welds held up, which is good. This will be a fun sculpture. Big Bear thinking, should I eat these things? I love you, Josh, but maybe I'll see it different when you're done. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. It doesn't bother me that you don't don't like it, or that you you didn't even say you didn't like it. You just think it looks like a cow, just the just the furriest cow there ever was, or a possum with no tail, different color. Maybe the face. You think the face kind of looks like a possum? Okay, let's get on with. There we go. I'm going to plug you guys back in so you don't die like yesterday. You almost died yesterday. Uh, wow, you've been busy. Bent gives a character, Josh. No, it made it look bad. It was bent. This was badly. It's bent back now. Unless you thought that was bent, in which case... The character is because that's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Oh, uh, yeah. Want some of this?
такая. Now I'm going to try to do real quick. I'm going to look up grizzly bear face. That might work. like the look of this one the way it, the color is around his eyes and such I really like so I think I might do something like that when I had severely bruised ribs the doc said to have someone beat my back with a cupped hand to loosen any phlegm in my lungs of course not hitting too hard just enough force like a cough gross That is crazy, guys. I will, I never want to break any ribs. Like, I don't even like having a broken nose. No thank you. If I break ribs, it better be a good story. It better be. I need What I remember now, before I show you the gold and stuff, I was looking for this. More of the poop. Yeah, look how much brighter that is now that I turned up my, my brightness there. I had just quick release toe clips in which saved my life. Impact speed was calculated at 55 miles per hour. What the heck? Toe clips. What were you doing? I was a competitive bicyclist. Some may know of those large trucks that provide road service for the 18 wheelers on the road. Well, one rear ended me while I was like, what? On purpose? How did they not see you? It was a good story, Josh. Ribs or not, I hope you never have to experience the pain. <laughs> <laughs> me too, but if I do, I better not be like, oh, someone threw a pylon at me, right? Just like, what? How did you break your rib? I guess actually that could, that's funny. I hope it's not like, oh, I ran into a dishwasher. 
My brother pushed me into a dishwasher. I mean, anything can be made of fun story, I guess. Hmm. 1981 cost, Costco chondrites. What? Inflammation of cartilage ribcage. Husband on the West Pack. Alone in... Okay, that didn't make any sense. Alone on island. Could barely roll over to push up out of bed. Uh, start over. <laughs> I don't know... You were in Costco in 1981 with some chondrites. You had flaming cartilage, flaming ribs. Ah, hot sauce on ribs. Husband on West Pack. He was barbecuing on the West Pack. I don't even know. I can't even come up with what that could even mean. I flew through the air 100 feet, broke my back. Broke your back in three places. Bit through my tongue in critical care one week. Gosh. No wonder you're so rich. You're able to sue the heck out of that guy. I don't know if you're rich. Actually, I don't know that at all. But your house was freaking mint.
Look how massive this bear is. Look how big his head is. His or her head is. Holy cow. I don't recall Timbertown, but who knows? We may have crossed paths somewhere. Timbertown? Josh, I have a mirror for you. I have a mirror for me. But you mean like for my studio. Come on by if you want. But just walk in.
I'm getting a phone call. Give me one second. All right, that's my dinner. I gotta go. But let me finish my thought here. Enjoy your supper. I will. I will. Let me just, uh, that second phone call, Ashley was like, oh, we actually don't have one of the ingredients. I'm going to go to the store, but she, I told her not to worry about it. So I'm just going to finish this area here. I just don't want to waste this paint.
Okay. Alright, verdict, I think I like all of the paint that I got, except for, I don't really like the emulsion stuff, I am using it, but, uh, I probably wouldn't get it again, I don't think, okay, let me have a look. Okay, once I get the grass, so see how the grass is in front of her or him? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do a lot of that. And then lots of tall grass, tall grass. Yeah. Alright, the rest of this I will use on something else, perhaps, maybe. I don't know. Uh, tomorrow is Wednesday, so tomorrow I'll probably come back and do a not, part seven. Are we on part seven? Or is this part six? I think it'll be part seven. Um, but it's coming along a little bit. We got a possum here, uh, or a cow. Somehow it looks like a cow or a possum, even though a cow looks nothing like a possum. So we've created a hybrid animal here. We have mama bear there she's lightened up quite a bit i like it needs some more work but i like it and uh this guy i'm gonna keep him more or less the same i'll probably have to do some stuff but then when we put in the grass i'm excited about the grass because that new green so we'll see anyways i'm gonna go eat take a break and then i'm gonna go get back to welding welding gosh so much to do so much to see so much to do and not very much time. Uh, when we think of the April sale item, I will announce that on the uh, Facebook page. Uh, I'll probably do it here on YouTube as well because I'm, I'm doing a lot of these lives here. Looks awesome. Improvements every second. Well, thank you. Animal hybrid is a thing on Dakota's wheel. That's right, there is. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed his show last night. Was it last night? Today's Tuesday? Yeah. I don't know how it went because I didn't watch it, but anyway. All right. Have a good night. Now I can actually say night because it's evening, but some of you are probably in the morning. But anyway, good night. Sleep tight and have some tacos. That's what I'm having. Okay. See ya.